Stirring the coffee with a pig head on a stick using the vortex method, the only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. I never tell lies, ever. It's a pig head on a stick. Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started. But first, Ethiopian coffee made in a French press with cream. Why the heck would you have it any other way? Now that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Working from home today, and I have a lot of work to do this morning here from home, planned. And my morning is pretty segmented right up until about noon. Just back to back with calls, coaching, and I actually have a telemedicine appointment where my doctor called me and wants to have a phone appointment with me to see how I am doing, which I am super impressed that they're calling everybody in their practice just to make sure that everything's okay. You know, that's cool. Never had a, never had a medical doctor do that before. So I'm looking forward to that, just to confirm with them my health and so forth. I have given myself four haircuts in two months. The safety razor fade has to be my favorite COVID cut already. Took a safety razor and shaved, literally disconnected the beard from the hair completely, as you can see. Disconnected the beard from the hair. Shave, shave, all the way around, about that much all the way around, and then faded it up with clippers, didn't touch the top, kept the part kind of going to the side. It's not a real part, I'm just sweeping it to the side, and uh, I'm digging it. I'm bored. I need to cut hair so bad, and uh, but I'm enjoying it. It's nice. Did it yesterday. I call this a safety razor fade. Skin fade. Why does every male reporter in the White House sound effeminate? Mr. President! Is this a requirement to be a reporter in the White House press room? You know, I'll be sitting there like doing something while I'm watching the president doing his daily briefing, which is the only time I've ever watched TV. And then when I hear, Mr. President, like my I look, as soon as I hear like something that sounds like a masculine voice, because I'm so used to hearing like these men that are trained to talk like women, as soon as I hear a masculine voice, Mr. President, I'm like, oh, oh, I look up. I'm like, wow, he might actually have something important to say, but he doesn't. But my head goes up just because it sounds like a man that's talking. If God made you a woman, be a woman. If God made you a man, be a man. It's nothing worse than a man acting like a woman because men always do a bad, men always do a bad job of acting like a woman. Always. Well, I'm just being who I am. No, you're not. You're acting like something you're not. Stop it. Enough already. Black barber shops <laughs> in the Philadelphia area be like, we got masks and hand sanitizer. Just knock four times. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> there is a black barber shop near me on Instagram. We got masks and hand sanitizer. Like, they're not making money from haircuts. But masks, face masks and hand sanitizer. You know what? You got to respect the hustle. I don't give a crap what anyone says. The couple dudes near me that got the shops are making money on a regular basis, not even touching heads, they're not even touching clippers. So you gotta respect the hustle. You have to. The masks are a dollar. Come on. That's pretty darn good. I like that. Whereas all my white barbers, we hope you're okay. We don't know when we're gonna be open yet. Bearded, tattooed, hipsters. We don't know when, we just, I hope, stay safe, keep six feet in between you. Black barber shops, yo, we got masks, we got hand sanitizer, bro. Knock four times. 
respect the hustle, for real. Honest to God, I... It's funny how the you-know-what shows you what people are made of. I'll go with the guy with the side hustle any day of the week, rather than the guy that waves the white flag. I guess I just kind of put my flag in the ground where I stand, don't I? Can anyone else do a comb over with the hair coming out of their ear? Now I'm joking with that, but man, I'm cutting my ear hair like every day, literally. If I let it go like two or three days, you can actually see it. What's weird is my beard is white, my hair is gray, this hair is still black as can be. So it looks, literally, looks like a bird's nest. I actually expanded a picture of my ear like a picture of my face, expanded the picture, and I just saw like this black bird's nest. I'm like, oh, that is gross. At least there's no dust getting into my eardrums. I said I could count the number of great female cooks in my life on two hands until I actually counted. I said this yesterday, too. It, I literally, when I go back in my life, there's only four, four women that I actually enjoyed eating their food. Four. Come on, ladies. Now, uh, all right. Pendulum will swing in the other direction. If a woman says, I'll count, let me count on my hands the number of men that can split a cord of wood or build a house. She'd be like, one? One. <laughs> it's like, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Three. Is there another country other than America where women constantly defile and mutilate their bodies? I don't know. America just might be the leader in mutilation of women doing ugly shit to their bodies. And then you know when you do ugly shit, you got to do more ugly shit. You can't just get a tattoo. It's got to be a sleeve. You can't just have one piercing, one pretty cute piercing with a jewel or a stud or something like that. It, you got to just like totally get up. You know, and just com just seal the deal of unattractiveness and look like a fucking circus freak. Mm. There's no good men out there, she says. Yeah. Discrimination, she says. Yeah. I took a poll. I said, uh, what fast food do you prefer? 11% said Taco Bell. 59% said Chick-fil-A. 16% said Wendy's. And 14% said McDonald's, and a bunch of others insulted me. Like, no wonder you're fat. No one, you're gonna die. I'm like, okay, I didn't ask that. I didn't ask, I didn't ask your opinion on like the longevity of my life and, and a commentary on my health. I said, what fast food do you prefer? If, if you had to choose one. Social media is such a shit show. Come on, let's get real. Every person who's had your ex since you acts like they're the first one and they're real proud about it. Got my girl here, me and my girl. Yeah, you and about 70 others. My girl. So just let that bring a little laugh to you. Two years ago, I looked exactly like this, sitting at this table. A lot of people don't know that I was very big in the beard championship world. A lot of my clientele that I did haircuts and beards on would compete in beard and mustache championships which seems weird to me now. I look back on it now and I'm thinking, like, what was I thinking? But it was cool at the time. It was very cool. And I've had many, many clients be title holders because of how I have shaped their beards and mustaches. And they would always send me a note saying thank you. That was kind of cool. I remember in 2016, we just had to have Prince's, you know, Prince, the music guy, guitar player, Prince. 
we had to have his autopsy results. But Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia, eh, not, not important. You ever notice when two or three people die at the same time, or around the same time, or the same day, you kind of wonder who the media will cling to. For instance, I remember Sammy Davis Jr. and Jim Henson died either the same day or a day apart. And Jim Henson got hardly any attention at all. I don't know why. I like Jim Henson. The guy from the Muppets. The guy who created Muppets. I remember Princess Diana and Mother Teresa died. It was either on the same day or a day apart. Very little about Mother Teresa. A lot about Princess Diana. It was like Princess Diana TV, all Diana all the time. Did you ever notice that when people die together on the same day? Who the media pays attention to or who just gets a quick little mention? It's something I was on to since I was a little boy. What, what people died that you noticed a strange attention on the media? List it below. I'd like to see that. We have ridden the length and breadth of the land in search of knights who will join me in my court at Camelot. I must speak with your lord and master. What? Ridden on a horse? Yes. You're using coconuts. What? You've got two empty halves of coconut and you're banging them together. So? We have ridden since the snows of winter covered this land through the kingdom of Mercia, through... Where'd you get the coconuts? We found them. Found them? In Mercia? The coconut's tropical. What do you mean? Well, this is a temperate zone. The swallow may fly south with the sun. Or the house martin. Or the plover may seek warmer climes in winter, yet these are not strangers to our land. Are you suggesting that coconuts migrate? Not at all. They could be carried. Are you the kind of person that appreciates that kind of humor? And with that, finish your coffee, and I'll see you tomorrow on the Daybreak Show, your home of sanity, clarity, and reason.